so today I'm doing a what's in my bag video. Something I haven't done in a really long time, but I love watching these even though a lot of the times I do question the realness of these videos because sometimes it just feels like. So today I will be showing you this brand new wonderful iPad mini. You can buy this at Best Buy for a rock bottom low price of $3.99. Like come on, really? Really? This is a very realistic what's in my bag video. I have not prepared for this at all. So let's just get started. So first let me show you guys what bag I'm carrying around. This is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull Fancy Fancy. The first thing that I see is this wrapper from an Annie's Organic Chocolate Chip Chewy Granola Bar. I actually ate this earlier today at the grocery store. It was okay. It was underwhelming. Next thing in my bag. Oh, and by the way, Frank is here. Frank, you want to say hi to everybody? <gasps> say hi to all my subscribers. Or should I say your subscribers? Because you're the star of the show. <laughs> I can't even deal and someone's texting me. Oh, that's my friend. Hi, friend. Okay, next thing in here is Frank's leash. Um, I use this to restrain him from running off into traffic and dying. Another important thing I have is his little doggy poop bag holder. As you can see, this is how the poopy bags come out and um, you use them to pick up poop. Fun story, one time I was in Santa Monica and Frank and I were crossing a really busy intersection and the red hand was flashing and Frank in the middle of this huge intersection decides to just take a squat and starts pooping in the middle of this busy intersection. So there's literally like four lanes of cars watching me stand in the middle of the road and the light has already turned green and people are honking at me and I'm like digging in my bag for a poopy bag and in front of everybody I'm just like trying to scoop up his mushy poop. It was the most embarrassing moment of my life. Anyways, I have vitamin B12 vitamins. I actually like to take these around with me. They're kind of like a cup of coffee in pill form. They give me a lot of energy and they taste really good. I have this thing where I don't eat vitamins unless they taste like candy. It's weird. I know. And I have this pug organizer slash calendar that I just bought. As you can see, I have not written anything in it since... Oh, I did. I put July. But I haven't really used it since May. And also, look at the picture. It's a pug with an inflated latex glove on its head. So then I have my wallet. In my wallet are just credit cards, a random bracelet with the word bonjour on it. Next thing I have is this brochure for renter's insurance, which is extremely important to have. I am currently in the process of looking for an apartment, so this renter's insurance brochure will probably come in handy. Then I have these Miu Miu sunglasses, which make me look like an extraterrestrial insect. I love them, though. Um, and then I have, oh my goodness, I have so much junk. Okay, so this was previously not empty. This had things in it. This used to have dog treats, but Frank ate them all. Frank, why'd you eat all the dog treats? No, you don't have any. Ooh, I have this really pretty... Um, bracelet with stars with what are these called sea stars sea stars on them cool I always get in the habit of wearing a ton of jewelry out and then it starts getting uncomfortable I'm just like oh let me just take it off and then I'll throw it in my bag and sometimes my bag will look like the inside of a jewelry store like if any of my girlfriends are like hmm step let me jazz out my outfit a little bit I'm like okay here you go I have these uh earrings, this bracelet, and a tiara. Next thing I have is a smushed chia bar. It's also melted. It's probably been in my bag for a very, very long time, but do not be fooled. I love these. So you can get them at Whole Foods. They're relatively inexpensive. They're really good source of protein and fiber and they taste delicious. Then I have some random cards and forms of ID. This is someone's business card for an apartment complex. This is my California driver's license and I have my passport. Don't you ever just feel like you might leave the country potentially when you go out? Like, you know, we might we might go to Chili's, but we also might go to Cuba unexpectedly. So let's just bring our passports with us. Then I have a pair of headphones. I have two pennies, 
I have this Starbucks straw wrapper. I feel like everybody has this in their bags or in like the spaces in between their car seats. So, and then here I have my Louis Vuitton Never Full makeup bag, but I keep just like a bunch of random stuff in there. For example, my credit card, which should actually be in my wallet. Um, then I have this unopened pack of Sour Patch Kids gum. It is really, really insanely sweet, but every single piece has less than five calories, and I feel like it kind of helps me with my cravings. And I have a Coralista Benefit blush. Don't know why I'm carrying that around, because I haven't used it in, like, months. Um, this I actually do use quite often. It's a Lancome Color Design Pale Lip Cream. Really nice, pale, moisturizing. Then I have this lip gloss that's really glittery and pink and pretty. And I don't know the name of it because I got it at Market World, which is like an Asian superstore. So this is real cute. And then the last thing that I'm going to be showing you guys that's in my bag. Okay, so this is sponsored Brace Yourselves, but I promise it's cool. Um, so I actually have been carrying this around. I did not stage this or like purposely put it in my bag. This is legitimately something that I am carrying around every single day and using quite often. So I was approached by the company called Scentbird and they are based out of New York and they basically do a monthly subscription service. For X amount of money a month, you get a sample of a new perfume. You could also take a quiz so they can find out your scent profile and see what kind of scents are compatible with your sense of smell. I ended up taking the test. One of the suggestions was Vera Wang Lovestruck and I was a little nervous when I first got it because I wasn't sure I was gonna like it and immediately when I sprayed it it's like a really fruity, floral, feminine scent. Very easy scent. I feel like a lot of people would enjoy this. Now, side note, I was kind of confused when I got it in the mail because on the picture on the website, it shows you the actual bottle of the perfume. So I was expecting to get that or like a smaller version of that. So when I received this, I was like, what is this? I was so confused. I didn't know how to use it, but they give you like a little instruction manual and apparently you twist it like so, and then the nozzle pops up, and then you just press it down. It has a pretty large spray radius, so just be careful. And then the next month when you get a new sample, you just pull it out and put the new one in, and you're ready to go. Do I think this is worth it? Definitely, especially if you're the kind of person that likes to change up your perfume very often. So if you're interested in Scentbird and their monthly subscription service, I will leave all of their information in the description box below. So go check that out. So that's it for my what's in my bag video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <coughs>